Walking here, it's easy to understand why the tomb of Tutankhamun was hidden for so long, why it was so hard to find. The entrance to his tomb is right in front of me, now covered by this flat concrete roof. The entrance being just about here. Behind me is a later tomb to Ramesses VI. And when that was dug, obviously, lots of limestone chippings and spoil would have been cascading right down here, utterly burying, obscuring Tutankhamun's tomb. It's thrilling now to retrace Carter's footsteps. Golly, this idiot. This is where it happened, that magical moment. Where Carter found the entrance to the tomb. Things have been tidied up a bit since his time, but nevertheless still very exciting. And down these few steps is the entrance to the tomb itself. This is the first door where Carter found the seals intact. He then started to remove the rubble and go down the descending passage as I am now. Carter reached the second door. Here it is, also filled with rubble, plastered over, seals intact. Goodness me, this is exciting. Well, he then made a hole here. I suppose hoping against hope they wouldn't see a sea of devastation. Looked through this little huddle and saw something. The maiden turned back to Carnarvon standing up there and say, I can see wonderful things. He realised the tomb had not been pillaged by robbers in antiquity. Much survived. He saw in front of him a series of great ritual couches, gilded animal heads, chests down there, a great treasury of artefacts, bits of chariots all around. And over here, he came in, there was a, a wall since removed, a rubble wall, dividing this, the antechamber, from the burial chamber. And here we see the sarcophagus of Tutankhamun with all the coffins inside it. Of course, in that coffin is the young pharaoh's body.